lights on, lights on. All right, so I'm just setting up the studio because we are back today with another First Impressions video and it's featuring another trail running offering from the Merrill brand. So not long ago, I took these out for a 10K run around Tahiti Woods. It's the MTL Skyfire 2s. It's a super stripped back, lightweight, very fitted sort of mountain race day shoe. Uh, it ran well around the woods, but it is pretty aggressive in design and it didn't offer me a lot of underfoot cushioning. Whereas these, the rather good looking Agility Peak 5 is a deeply cushioned trail running shoe with a wicked looking outsole and they really do feel and look like a well put together trail running shoe. Very excited to hit the trails and test them out today. So let's dive into the video and take them out for a run. Welcome back everyone and thanks for tuning in again. I'm Lloyd Purvis and this is Run For Adventure. So as we rapidly approach August, both myself and Liga are super excited about the up and coming trip across to Jersey to take on the Round The Rock race. But also, as soon as we get back from that, we're gonna be heading over to Europe in the adventure bus for an epic road trip. So just had the van fully serviced, checked over, new tires all round. So gotta say a big shout out to Mark from Thomas Auto Tech for sorting everything out. So the bus should be good for a few thousand miles this summer. Okay, on to the Agility Peak 5, and we've got lots of exciting things to talk about when it comes to this shoe. So firstly, all the changes that have been made compared to the previous version. So we've got a more exaggerated sort of rocker geometry in that midsole design, and we've got a more sculpted heel to give you a bit more comfort, but also a better hold and lockdown. So when it comes to the latest version, the fives, they retail in the UK for 140 pounds. Weight wise, they come in at 304 grams in a UK 9.5. And we've got a six mil heel offset. So you get a stack height of 31 mil on the heel and 25 mil under your forefoot. And the construction of the shoe is also vegan friendly, which is always a good thing in my eyes. I'm going to start at the bottom of the shoe because this outsole looks awesome. Firstly, because we've obviously got this bright yellow logo at the midfoot, which can only mean one thing. We've got some super sticky, vibrant mega grip rubber on the bottom of this trail shoe. But I'm also loving the look of these chunky, aggressive five mil traction lugs. So we've got some great reverse facing lugs on the heel that are gonna bite in when you're running down steep descents, but also aggressive lugs on the forefoot there. So it really does look like an outsole that can handle all types of terrain and any weather condition. So very excited to test this out on today's run. We've got a Float Pro Foam midsole for lightweight comfort. And when I push into that compound, it does feel very, very soft. But we've also got some other great features worked into that midsole setup. So you get their dual directional flex connect grooves for enhanced ground feel and connection. And then if I flip it over again, this orange area poking through the outsole is actually a rock plate covering the midfoot and the forefoot. So the Agility Peak 5 should offer really good underfoot protection. And the exciting features don't stop there. So moving to the upper design, and there's lots to talk about again. The first thing that jumps out is the use of this SBR mesh material by Merrill uh, on the ankle collar, on the gusseted tongue, and on that heel cup. They've utilized this fabric because of its low water absorption rate. So this upper shouldn't hold onto water and they should drain really well, but it's also nice and stretchy and highly breathable. Always good to see when running brands are using recycled materials and Merrill are using a lot of them in the construction of the Agility Peak 5. So we've got the laces there, we've got that inner mesh liner in the upper and the footbed cover. But unlike a lot of running brands, it's not 20, 30% recycled, it's 100% recycled material. And I personally think that is a great effort by the brand and really good to see. And then finishing up, we've got this nice D-ring and a Velcro attachment on the back of the shoe for a pair of gaiters. Uh, we've also got a nice little handy uh, pull tab on the heel and you get a nice substantial toe bumper that's going to offer you a little bit more protection when you're out on the trails. Obviously, we'll talk more about the shoe when we're out on the run and when we get back to the studio in our final conclusion. But right now, I need to get the Agility Peak 5s on my feet and take them for a run. 
Okay, so I've come up to the north coast of Cornwall, up to Hell's Mouth. Going to be running along the coast path there into Tahiti Woods, and we're going to give the Merrill Agility Peak 5 a thorough testing out on the stunning Cornish Trail. So let's get running. <laughs> As we make our way to Tahiti Woods, I just thought I'd give you guys a quick update on the Run for Adventure technical tees. So if you did pre-order one, they are coming very, very soon. Unfortunately, there was a bit of a hold up getting the reflective thread for the stitching. So it put our order back a bit, but the guys are on it now. So thanks for being patient. Thanks for waiting. Most of all, thanks for the support. Okay, so we've made it into Tahiti Woods and we've covered three miles already and I was bobbing along the coast path there at a good pace and the legs felt great. So definitely heading in the right direction, especially after our long run on Sunday. Supposed to run yesterday, got caught up in front of the laptop, but I've been doing loads of uh, foam rolling, massage gun stuff, and lots of strength and conditioning and mobility work on the lower leg. And I think it's all paying off. I'm also happy to report that the Agility Peak 5 is feeling awesome as well. When it comes to the fit, a very different fitting shoe compared to that Skyfire 2. So there is a bit more width in it. I still wouldn't say it's a wide shoe, still quite fitted, but also the length is very different. So I would say the Agility Peak 5s are true to size, whereas those Skyfire 2s sized up really, really small. Actually, coming along the coast path there, they really feel very similar in fit and feel underfoot to the old Speedgoat 3, which is definitely a positive thing in my book because I love that shoe. I would say the midsole's a little bit firmer than the Speedgoat 3, but the fit, the feel, the rocker in that midsole feels very similar. So definitely uh, first impressions are super positive, but we're three miles in, let's do a loop of the woods and then we're gonna head back to the adventure bus. Okay, so the loop of the woods is done. We're just crossing these glorious fields back to the coast path. And I've got to say it, this run is going extremely well. Body, mind, and new shoe feel great. And I've never actually run in the agility peak before. And you know, if they've always felt like this, then I reckon I've been missing out because these are running really well straight out of the box. The midsole, even though it is a deeply cushioned trail shoe, I think those flex grooves are really helping and it feels nice and nimble and even though it's not the lightest shoe in the world at 304 grams in a UK 9.5, feels super responsive and runs way lighter than that. Also that increased rocket geometry feels very efficient, really feels like it's sort of helping you in that forward motion and like I've already said, it does feel very similar underfoot to the Hoka Spigo 3s, but also the Kalos Fuga EX2 and EX Boa, which again, I love all three of those shoes, so I'm well happy with how it's performing. Now my watch says 10K, but schoolboy error, I forgot to start at the beginning of the run because I was too busy filming, so we've got 
I'd say a good mile and a half till we get back to the adventure bus. So it's gonna be close to eight miles by the time we finish. So we'll get back to the van, we'll get home, and then we'll give you guys a full conclusion. It was actually pretty much nine miles by the time I got back to the adventure bus. So I completely miscalculated that run. And I think it was because I was having so much fun out there today. My legs felt like they were full of energy. And I've got to be honest, I haven't felt like that for a long time. Ever since I started having those lower leg issues about a year ago. So like I say, it's been a long time. So it was great today to feel like I was actually running again. It was also a super positive experience on the shoe front. And I have to say it that it was a much more enjoyable run compared to the time when I took out the Merrill stripped back Skyfire 2s. Now, I obviously know that is a completely different shoe design built for a different purpose. And I would say that the Agility Peak 5 definitely works for me better. A great fit on my foot shape, really nice and secure around that midfoot with the gusseted tongue and a great lockdown in the heel. Also, just the right level of padding for me in that tongue, around that ankle collar and in the heel cup. Now, I know I already mentioned it a couple of times when we were out on the run, but they really did remind me of running in the brilliant old Speed Goat 3s. And believe me, that is high praise coming from me because I really love that shoe. And I actually had three or four pairs and I ran thousands of training miles and racing miles in them. And it's actually still my favorite Hoka trail running shoe to date. So when I got home, I jumped up in the loft and I grabbed out a pair of my old Speed Goat 3s. Now I can hear you all saying, what a saddo, keeping old shoes up in the loft. But you know, I'm kind of emotionally attached to these. We spent a lot of time and a lot of miles together and by grabbing them out of the loft, it made me realize something. Are these shoes exactly the same? <laughs> So we got a very similar color combination. The toe box width and shape is almost the same. And if we look at the midsole, we got a very similar stack height and rocker geometry. I mean, they are pretty much identical. And that's probably why I enjoyed my run so much in these today. Anyway, that's enough speed goat talk. Back to the Merrells. And obviously having this nice chunky aggressive five mil lug on the outsole and it being coated in the super sticky Vibram Mega Group rubber. The outsole performed well on today's run. Uh, it had a couple of puddles to deal with, the odd slippery tree root, and a little bit of mud now and again. And it really did cope with it all fine. And I'm sure it could handle much, much worse conditions than that. I actually think the Agility Peak 5 would make a great trail running shoe when it comes to wet, muddy UK conditions. So rounding up when it comes to my first run in these, and I've literally got no negatives to say. I personally wouldn't change a thing about this shoe. Fits me well, the upper feels nice and plush and breathable. I got a really good level of comfort from that Float Pro Foam midsole, and it was just a very easy shoe to run in. I literally took it out of the box, laced it up, and I felt like I could run all day in them. I think my legs might say different at the moment, but it really was just a joy to run in. I actually enjoyed my run so much in these today that I'm gonna lace them up again for our long run on Sunday. Uh, firstly, I'm just excited to run in them again, but I think it'll also be uh, really good to test them out a bit more thoroughly over a longer distance, and it's gonna be on a pretty challenging route. Uh, it'd also be great to hear from you guys. So if you've run in the Agility Peak before, whether it's this current fifth model or any of the previous versions I'd love to hear your feedback obviously having never run in the model of trail shoe before I haven't really got anything to sort of compare it against so get in the comments below let us know all about your history running in the agility peak from Merrill but until next time guys really hope you've enjoyed the video if you have you know what to do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already only takes a second to do but it is a massive help for sure we'll be back here very very soon Thanks for watching, thanks for supporting, it really is appreciated. And as always, stay safe and keep on running. But we've got some other great features worked into that midsole construction as well. So you get dual connection, oh, dual direction. Firstly, let's go through uh, all the updates that have been made compared to the previous model. So we've got the uh, retails in the UK for 140 pounds. Wait, why is they come in at 140? Ah, no. Not a, a hundred and four grams. God, it would literally float. I wouldn't be able to feel myself holding it. 304 grams.